Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next episode of the Thor News 420 Technical Difficulties Marathon, where I'm making a bunch of videos in one day to support the legalization and decriminalization of marijuana. And I think some people who don't want me to make videos hacked in and screwed up my favorite super magic editing program. So I'm having to do a bunch of videos in one take. Now that we've gotten that out of the way on video number six for the day, with four more to go, we are looking at the Huffington Post weird news. <clears throat> and an official threatens to squash Bodie McBoatface name for the research ship. Now I love this story for a couple reasons. The question is, will the UK respect the will of the people? <clears throat> now what had happened was, is that they put up the name of a boat, a very serious science research boat. They put up the name and the naming of it to the public, that they could vote on the name, and that when the public voted on the name, uh, the winner, you know, would just be named whatever the public voted on. Well, I guess the problem is, the public voted on Bodie McBoatface <laughs> for the name of the ship, because... You know, I guess people in uh, England have a, the UK have a sense of humor. And apparently somebody in the United Kingdom does not. Who would that be? Let's read on. Online voters chose the name RRS, Buddy McPostface, last month for a new British polar exploration ship. And really, we are all winners. Yeah, you're at Thor News because you're a winner. So let's continue winning. But the will of the people could not be denied. It's unlikely that officials will go along with the name of the boat, due for completion in 2019, according to the UK Science Minister, Joe Johnson. Oh, <clears throat> there we go. A scientist. King shit science himself of the UK is saying, hell no, that name is not sciencey enough. Science is serious business. You can never tell jokes. You can never have a good time. Here's a visualization of the ship. Ooh, it's big and it's red. The name of vessel on the side. What shall we call it? I don't know. Um, apparently they didn't like voting on boat face. Okay. The new... <clears throat> See, I'm making mistakes because it's live. The new Royal Research Ship will be sailing into the world's iciest waters to address global challenges that affect the lives of hundreds of millions of people, including global warming, the melting of polar ice, and rising sea levels. Johnson told The Guardian, That's why we want a name that lasts longer than a social media news cycle and reflects the serious nature of the science it will be doing. Okay, great. So... Apparently, you know, they had the deal where the public could vote on the boat and the winner would get named whatever got chosen. And so the climate change crew decided they did not like the data that came in. And so they moved the goalposts and decided to change the deal. <clears throat> that sounds weird. I have a climate scientist kind of say, that's not the data we wanted. So we're just going to go ahead and change the whole thing to suit what we want. And also, it shows that like, this guy doesn't understand anything. It's like, apparently he's been way up in his ivory tower. Uh, he doesn't connect with people at all. And he thinks that Bodie McBoatface would only last one media cycle, buddy. I guarantee you, naming the boat Bodie McBoatface will probably get a, more press than, than any other name you can think of, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you get some serious, like, USS Green, or, should be a perfect name for 420 Day, but, uh, you know, like, the USS Serious Science, like, nobody's gonna give a crap, but, like, everybody loves Buddy McBoat Face, man, so it's kind of like, give the people what they want, it'll get mentioned a lot, everybody wins, but science like, no, everybody can't win, science has to win. Science is more important than God, science is more important than people, and science has to be taken seriously, so, Screw the people. Science cannot stand for Bodie McBuffet. That's great.
However, Culture Minister Ed Vasey is hinting that Buddy McBoface may still have a chance. Well, hot damn, man. It's good to know that culture and science are still totally clashing. And it's good to know that somebody's going to stand up for the people and that Buddy McBoface may still be alive. I think trust in politics is going down. Well, no shit, Sherlock. And we may have to respect the will of the people. No, it's science. They don't have to respect the will of the people. They have to respect the data. They don't have to respect the promises given. They're science. Didn't that tell you why? I think Joe should agree that it's called Buddy McBoatface. Scott told his son on Wednesday. Maybe they should have like a boxing match. I don't know. Do UK guys punch each other? Ever? We'll have to remain in suspense to see what, which of the 7,000 names the public suggested will be selected to put forward for royal approval. There's your problem. Other frontrunners in the online poll by Britain's Natural Environment Research Council includes the RRS, it's bloody cold here, and the RRS Usain Boat. So man, you, you, you put it up for the people, you know, and nobody ever went broke underestimating the taste of the people. So, there you go. You put it out there. You got results you didn't like, so now you're trying to change it. Climate science. Nobody appreciates that. Nobody, man. Why don't you guys play fair and be cool for once? We'd appreciate it. All right. Thanks, everybody. God bless you. Thanks for sticking along with me here on the, uh, the War News 420 Technical Difficulties Marathon Challenge. Four more videos to go in five and a half hours. But it's all one take. Like this took me about seven minutes to do. And that's so great, considering that most of my videos take me anywhere from like four to 12 hours to make. So there you go. God bless everybody. It's been a pretty good day, but it ain't over yet. Talk to you soon. Peace out.